Hey everyone, just uh, wanted to get started today with my fourth synchronicity video and it's going to be about family dynasties. The reason I wanted to talk about family dynasties is I'm telling these synchronicity uh, stories about my family life to my sister Annie because I was adopted. So if you're just landing here for the first time, I've been using synchronicity numbers to tell my sister Annie, who I never got to spend my life with, my life story. Now, if you've just joined, I am just now landing on planet Earth, been adopted by the Sanderson family, who were part of a family dynasty in Colorado. They were a family dynasty, but they were all part of a family dynasty, but they were also a farming dynasty. They raised potatoes and sheep and cattle. And so my father uh, was part of uh, that farming dynasty that adopted me. So far, got you up to speed, right? <laughs> However, I have thrown several versions of this story away. And so now I'm trying to get this to you again. I was going to call this video 444 because I kept getting 444. But in doing so, the queen dies. And I was like, oh, this is terrible. And I had this all worked out because I was going to do this comparison of family dynasties. Because my whole life I've watched a lot of television shows about family dynasties, like TV shows like Dallas and Dynasty and Succession, Game of Thrones, uh, Game of Thrones, House of Dragon, Gilded Age. I mean, I could go on and on, right? However, the Queen does. Now, what better or more perfect example of a family dynasty on our than Queen Elizabeth and her family? And then I get this uh, story into my feed, to my feed, story feed, about King Charles and his wife, Queen Camilla, consort, from Australia. And it's about family dynasty, and it's about their bastard son, allegedly. And his name is Simon Durante Day. Now, apparently, this story's been floating around for quite a while because apparently they had an illegitimate baby. And a friend of the Queen's adopted this baby. Well, the story I was going to tell you is I thought I was part of a big family dynasty until I was eight years old in third grade. And it, I was devastated. I kind of lost my identity. And then I kind of had a chip on my shoulder. I mean, I really did. Well, now flip that back around. And I kind of used the, uh, the story for those of you who've ever watched Game of Thrones. It's kind of like when Jon Snow found out, you're not a bastard at all. You are the rightful heir to the Iron Throne. However, Jon Snow's parents were married at the time that he was born. This guy, his parents weren't married, but they're married now. A little bit different scenario. If indeed the DNA proves that this, uh, uh, this Simon guy is truly the heir to the throne instead of William, but that's not going to happen. You know this isn't going to happen, do you? Because This is so unfair. This is wrong. This brings up a lot of questions at hand, doesn't it? About what's right, what's wrong. I mean, what do they say? What do they do? Hmm. I don't know. How would you? And he's he's very conflicted and bitter. I understand. How would you feel if, like, all of a sudden you find out my mom and dad are the king and queen of England and they deny me? Ah. Uh,
but I understand it's just uh, when you're dealing with humans you're dealing with emotion what can I tell you and then when you put a dynasty into the mix of thing and if there's money involved oh my mm -mm -mm. well <laughs> uh, but then you put into the mix um, I think the question should be this is it nature or nurture what becomes of the bastards I mean truly is it the DNA that makes a person successful or is it the nurture and what the environment did uh, is it is they they've done science studies on this and I think we should have some discussions and I think these synchronicity videos will give you some insight into what became of me because because that my uh, adopted dynasty father passed away when I was five months old the trajectory of my life changed substantially oh yes it did now didn't it because it changed my adopted birth mom's trajectory and my birth uh, my adopted brother I mean, so it, that changed the whole environment of how I was going to grow up. Now, throw in the DNA from my birth mother, and we don't know who my birth father is, so this is what happened to me. I, that's what I'm going to tell you. And we'll connect the dots back with synchronicity and tell you all of these fantastic stories as we move forward. But then I want you now to go look at these links of some of these other bastards in history. It's going to be fun to kind of connect, you know, biology with, um, you know, the nature versus nurture. Anyway, stay tuned. We'll be back with the next video soon.